Hey everyone, and welcome to Day Z, which is a mod for ARMA2. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse mod, and it is meant to be ultra realistic and ultra hard. If you're interested in it, I recommend checking it out. It is highly difficult, as you will see here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Looks like we have some buildings in the distance. Um, that lighthouse might be interesting to check out. Let's see what I have in my inventory. Okay, I got a bandage, painkillers, flashlight, and a backpack. So, pretty much jack shit. get to this lighthouse. I don't know if this is something we can swim. It doesn't look like it's possible. Last time I think I went, tried to go swimming, I think everything in my inventory fell out. Granted, that's not that big of a loss when we only have like three items. This game is really stressful. It just like makes me so nervous. Just looking around each corner. Will there be a zombie there? Will there won't? Um, um, let's see. Looks pretty clear. So that's um that's good. There's a little tunnel over there. Nice. See something moving on the beach. It looks like way over there in the center of the screen pick that up or not, but I can see a little bit of them. Let's go check out this little shed over here first. I see a lot of people that play this game, and they always play from the uh, third person perspective, but me it takes out some of the realism and some of the, the crazy like intense moments. I'd rather not be able to unrealistically see around myself. Oh my god, look at all this good stuff. AK ammunition? I'll take that. Soda can. That's empty. No, that's not helpful at all. Heat pack. Well, who knows, maybe we'll play and it'll be cold in the game. You know, there's like body temperature and, and all these little things you have to, uh, to kind of maintain. And, uh, it's not the easiest thing. I mean, body temperature really hasn't been implemented, so I don't think I have too much to worry about. At least I've never died of hypothermia in the game. Look at that. Looks like Pepsi to me. And Coke. Nice. Take some soda. You do have to um, drink and eat in this mod. If you don't, you will slowly and gradually dehydrate. Your character won't run as fast. Um, more likely to die from zombies. So if you notice on the right hand side there's an ear and an eye that's supposed to mark how visible and how audible you are. The top one's audible obviously. And below that you have the temperature bar, the thirst bar, the blood bar. Blood is your life. It 
doesn't regenerate once it's gone, it's gone. And, um, your hunger bar. Just at the bottom. Okay, so there's a zombie in front of me. I don't know if he really sees me or if he's just wandering aimlessly. Um, hopefully he doesn't see me because that'd be a, a tragedy at this point. Especially since I have no gun, no ammo. So let's kind of slowly walk around to the side here. Don't pay no attention to me, you know. See, a lot of people that play, also, they'll, they'll just run like crazy, and, you know, this is a game of strategy. It's not all just running around and shooting. It, it's very strategic. You gotta think. Um, however, once a zombie's on you, the only bad thing is, is that there's no melee weapons that I know of. I think they just recently put in axes. But, let's face it. Zombie knows you're there, you're pretty much screwed. Come on. I'm gonna be really visible when I cross onto this road. I'll walk down the street a little bit. God, I'm highly visible. Just, I don't think they're going to see me. If you notice, the map is massive. That's the best part of this game. Fully open world. And, you know, it's not objective driven. You just pretty much got to survive. Just like everywhere. The tricky part about this game is that anywhere where there are probably supplies, they throw in a shitload of zombies. There's a chicken. careful. Just junk. Here we go in this building. A lot of the buildings you can go in, but on the same token, a lot of them you can't. Oh shit, I hear a zombie. Where is it? Good indicator if you can go in a building is if it has windows and you can see through the windows. If it's like all solid and just like a texture, then it's it's not gonna be an enterable building. Concern. I have no weapon, um, but I do want to say that weapons are not necessarily a cure-all, but um, it's comforting. The reason why I say weapons aren't 
the whole story to the game is because if you shoot your gun, other zombies will hear this. I mean, it's not like, oh, you just shot a monster and they're all just going to stay there. They're all going to seek you out there in the area. Man, this place is like empty. I thought I could find something. It's bull crap. Let's go out this door. And yes, there are other people playing in the game. You can see like there are tons of people that play. That Dr. Dentist guy is the current best that has played on the server. Um, with over 3,000 zombie kills. How the hell he did that, I have no idea. Maybe he found a tank or some kind of helicopter. He had to have cheated, I don't know. The most I've ever got on this is 45 kills before dying. And I will repeat that bullets, guns, anything that can be considered a defensive item are rare. rattle. I can climb on top of the water tower if I want. Um, I don't think there's anything I'd be up there quite honestly. So it'd probably be a waste of my time. And uh, I just want to apologize for the snail-like pace that I'm taking, but that's my style. I'm not not running around like like crazy, and I don't have any guns, so what would be the point of dying so early? And since this is a multiplayer game, there will be other survivors out there that, if they have a chance, and you have supplies that they need or want, they will kill you. And sometimes it's best to uh, to shoot first and ask questions later. There's like nothing in there either. Jesus Christ, zombies everywhere. the road. What's over there? And what is over there? It looks like I have a choice. I want to continue near the coastline. You know, coastlines are kind of dangerous in general just because that's where everyone spawns. But since they took out the um, the spawning with guns, it's not as um, intimidating. Zombie over there. <laughs> 